Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how we can make a stock skinner in trading view. Now, first of all, we should know why we need a stock skinner. Because suppose we have some indicator and it's giving you a buy and sell signal. Now, when you apply this indicator into a chart, then it will give you buy and sell signal for that particular stock only. But suppose you are following 20 or 30 stocks at the same time and you want to know whether which stocks is giving you a buy or sell signal at right moment that is really difficult because you have to scroll down or you have to change the script name uh, every time every time interval and you have to check whether this stock give you a buy or sell signal or not and uh, this is very boring job so for that we have to develop some indicator or screener uh, that will give you the name of the particular stock uh, which is in buy or sell at the right moment. So that's why we need a stock skinner and that's the idea. Now one more thing I should tell you that if you have some logic, if you have some setup, if you have some system of rules, if this condition will happen then you will go for buy or sell. Now if you don't have so many time to uh, develop a code for in Pine script or if you don't know how to write the code then you can uh, tell me you can message me personally uh, i will help you to code that's what i do now in trading view there already we have a stock skinner and let's see how does it look like let's click on the stock skinner and now one more one thing you should notice first that uh, here uh, it's available for one minute to one month if we click on five minute then it will ask to upgrade your account so if you have a basic plan then this is not for you uh, if you have pro pro plus or premium then you can access the intraday time frame so that's a drawback here uh, so i already i i also have a basic plan i cannot access for intraday time frame i have only daily weekly and monthly so this is the limitations and one more limitations is there just go to the filter and if we go to the technicals then and uh, suppose we want to screen those kind of stocks whose RSI value is greater than 75 now let's search for RSI now now here we have two RSI that is one is uh, 14 and 7 now if we want to customization on the parameters that is uh, they are both RSI close comma 14 and close comma 7 if we want to change the source of the RSI or we want to change the length of the RSI then it's not possible here so for that or uh, if you have some complex indicator like uh, consisting of uh, multiple indicators and you have some uh, setup and it is it is giving you a buy and sell signal for that particular indicator you don't have any other option here so you have to do your you have to do it in your own code so that's that also a limitation in trading view so if you want to overcome the limitation of stock skinner then you have to code your own stock skinner now let's see one or two example of a stock skinner how does it look like so i already build a stock skinner let me show you now suppose now look at the stock skinner uh, it it will give you it may give you like look like that if you want actually there is a various way to display the stock name but uh, i i think this is the uh, good one so i i d did it like that so my logic is i just take a rsi 9 and uh, we put the stock name in the buy uh, list if rsi greater than 55 and uh, for sale we just take if rsi less than 45 so this is a very simple logic and uh, this th this what i am going to uh, talk about in this video so we will see how we can make this stock skinner so without delay let's uh, go to the code let me cut this so let me explain the code and that will be the better way to tell you how we can make a stock skinner so let's go to the code of this indicator now i will explain you each and every line of this indicator and uh, hope it will help you so let me zoom in 
now uh, at the very first you will notice this is a version 5 this is a version 5 indicator and here is a indicator and title equal to skinner this is a name it will display on the chart so let's go to the chart and see look at here the screener so whatever you will write in the title section it will display as a uh, indicator name this is a skinner now now this is the overlay equal to true what does it mean it's a that means this indicator will plot in on the candlestick so it will plot on the candlestick it, it won't plot in the new panel like RSI so that's why it's overlay equal to true if we did not mention the overlay equal to true then by default it will take overlay equal to false and it will uh, plot in as a RSI indicator that's like a new panel indicator so so now here I am taking a variable that is length length equal to input dot integer that, that means it is an integer type uh, variable and it is uh, by default I am taking 9 as a RSI length. So, this is the RSI length now let us uh, come here now here we make a screen function it it uh, it is a very simple function it could be more complex or it it, it may be uh, 100 lines or 200 lines does not matter so whatever your logic is just put uh, the logic into this screen function this is the main part of this indicator now what is the logic here i am taking a variable called rsi rsi equal to ta dot rsi this is the inbuilt this is an inbuilt function in uh, version 5 so ta dot rsi the first one will be source so what will be the source i am taking as a close and this is the length length of the rsi so by default i am taking length as a 9 so this is the rsi of close comma 9 and we consider bool that is the bullish i am taking the bool variable uh, uh, the bool equal to rsi greater than 55 if rsi is greater than 55 then our bool variable will take true value otherwise it will take false so similarly br equal to rsi less than 45 if the rsi value is less than 45 then uh, our br will be active that is uh, it will be true otherwise it will be false now here is a th this function is a return time function and it it will return two variable so one is a bool and the next one is bear so you have to put under third bracket so it will return uh, two variable when you call this screen function so hope it is clear up to there now in this variable tf we just store the current time frame as a string so this is this will give you the time frame uh, look at here we are in daily time frame data so tf will be d that is the daily time frame now we have to take some symbols so that it will screen on that particular symbol only so in this variable s1 we will store nifty future that is nifty one means nifty future of current expiry so this is the symbol for nifty future current expiry and uh, input dot symbol it it is a keyword and it will take the symbol of the stock and uh, here is a uh, this is the title symbol 1 now in s2 variable we just take bank nifty future of current expiry that is bank nifty 1 and in s3 we are taking sbin that is that's uh, state bank of india and s4 hdfc and s5 reliance so our s1 s2 s3 s4 and s5 consisting of five stocks name so now now look at here this is a request dot security so what is this function it will ask the value corresponding the script and corresponding the time frame so wh what is the function the first parameter is s1 s1 is nothing but nifty future okay this is a symbol so nifty future then we are taking time frame so what is the time frame that is the chart time frame if it is a daily chart then it will be daily if it is a 5 minute chart then it will take 5 uh, whatever chart time frame will be the tf value will be that this is the time frame and now 
what is the function? Here we are taking the screen function. The screen function is a return time function of two variable. So, it will give you two value. So, that is why we are taking uh, two value c 1 and v 1. So, c 1 it will give you either true or false if bool is true then c 1 will be true if bool is false then c 1 will be false. Similarly, v 1 it, it will with respect to bear. The same thing will happen for uh, 5 stocks. So, uh, s 1 s 2 uh, up to s 5 we will store the value of 5 stocks in c 1 to c 5 and v 1 to v 5. So, up to here we know which stock is bullish or which stock is bearish. That means, if s 1 is bullish then our c 1 will be true and v 1 will be false. If s 1 is bearish then v 1 will be true and c 1 will be false. If the RSI value of s 1 lie between 55 to 45 then it is neither bullish nor bearish. So, in the in that case c 1 and v 1 both will be false. Now, as we have the parameter for all stocks whether it is bullish or bearish, now we need to display uh, the stock list. We need to display the stock name as a list. So, we will take two label one for buy and one for sell. If it is in buy mode then we will display the stock name in the buy level or if it is in sell mode then we will display as a sell level. So, in, in the very first we will take the buy level as uh, we will initialize the value with buy text. This is a just a decoration and nothing else. Now, we will reinitialize the buy level as if c 1 is true that means, first stock is in bullish. So, we will add the name of the stock into the buy level if second stock is bullish then we will also add the name in buy level. And uh, similarly, for uh, up to C 5 if uh, any one of the stocks is in buy mode then it will uh, add into the buy level. Now, when our buy level is ready now we need to uh, plot this uh, variable data into a label. So, I am taking here label dot new and we placed it bar index plus 10 that is a 10 candle in the future. So, it 10 candle away from the last candle. So, here it is plotting if we take only bar index then it will plot on the last candle. So, it will overlap in this last candle that is why I am shifted the label 10 uh, candle uh, ahead. So, that is all. Now, and we are taking color is equal to color dot uh, sorry and we are taking uh, this is this the value as buy level and the color I am taking for buy it is a lime and text color as a white and uh, style is equal to style as a label up for up for buy and uh, y location is equal to location dot price and text align as a left. So, this is our buy level and we delete the previous level because if we do not delete the previous level then what will happen just watch if we save it. Now, look at here there are so many levels uh, for each candle we will get a one level. So, you have to delete the previous one. So, that is why we are deleting the previous level. So, it will uh, display the last level that is what we want. Now, similarly for cell. So, the same thing will happen for cell here we initialize the cell level as cell and uh, we check whether v 1 is uh, true then we will consider we, we will add the first stock name s 1 and similarly for v 5 and uh, we put together into a new level and we display the new level and we have to delete the previous level also otherwise it will messed up. So, if we compile the uh, code then we will get the output as like this. Now, let us check whether it is working or not look at here nifty future uh, in our chart uh, nifty future is opening and the RSI value is just crossing the 55 level of RSI this is the RSI 9. So, this is in buy mode now let us change the script.
Now, here is a bank nifty future, bank nifty also greater than 55, RSI greater than 55. So, bank nifty is here. Now, let us change the stock. Now, it is SBIN, SBI again in buy. So, SBIN uh, uh, RSI value is greater than 55. Now, let us change the script. Now, here HDFC, look at here HDFC, HDFC is lie between 55 to 45, it, it won't cross till yet. So, HDFC is not in list. Now, let us change. Now, this is a reliance. Now, look at the RSI value is less than 45. Here it is in cell. So, our screener is working properly. So, in this way we can make a screener, it can be more complex uh, rule or it may be some similar, similar uh, rules. So, whatever rule may be, uh, just you have to update the function, screen function only. So, all, all these things will depend uh, on this function, you, whatever logic you have, you just make your own screen function and do the same process. Now, one more thing I should tell you, this is very important, uh, you cannot screen uh, in, in this way because uh, uh, with uh, more than 40 stocks, because in trading view there is a limitation, uh, look at here, look at here the security request dot security, this function maximum you can call up to 40 times in a single indicator. So, that is a limitation for trading view. So, that is why you can take uh, at most 40 stocks uh, for uh, one single time frame. So, if you are using multi time frame indicator, that means uh, in your indicator uh, there are two or more than two time frame is used, then uh, if your stock limitation will reduce. So, that is it for today. Hope you like it. If you like this video, please share as much as you can, so that I can reach maximum number of people. And thank you and thanks for watching me.